In this video, we will learn to install Audacity 3.6.1 and check if our microphone is detected by Audacity. If you have experience in using older Audacity, please note that the installation process has been changed slightly in Audacity 3.6. If you go to the audacityteam.org now, you will see a yellow button to download Audacity. If you pay close attention, there is also a white link below that button. The text says, Download without Muse Hub. If you want to continue using Audacity over the years, you have to know about this Muse Hub thing. Audacity is now developed and maintained by a company called Muse Group. Muse Group mainly works with music-related plugins and software. They purchased Audacity a few years back, and they are now in charge of developing Audacity. Audacity is a free and open-source software, and Muse Group assured that it will remain in that way. However, as Audacity is under Muse Group, it is getting a tight coupling with some of its other software. Muse Hub is one of the software getting a tighter integration with Audacity. That was quite some history, but how does that affect the installation process? If you download Audacity from this yellow button, you will get both Muse Hub and Audacity. If you do not want to use Muse Hub, then you can download only Audacity from the link below that button. Let me show you how the detailed installation process works. I am using a MacBook and I will show the process for Mac OS. If you are using another OS like Windows or Linux, your installation process will be as typical with other software with your OS. If you are using another OS than Mac, you should still watch the installation process. It will give you an idea of the expected workflow and interface. I will first install using the Download Audacity button. Click on the Download Audacity 3.6.1 and a file will start downloading. The file save pop-up has appeared and look at the file name. It is Muse underscore hub. If you install from this file, both Audacity and Muse Hub Helper will be installed. I will show you in a moment what is Muse Hub Helper. I will save this file. The file is downloaded and I will open the folder location. I have got the musehub.dmg file after downloading. If you are using Windows, you will get an exe file. Double click on the file and another pop appears. I have to drag the Muse Hub icon to the applications folder. I previously had it installed and it is asking to replace or keep both files. I will replace it, but if you are installing it for the first time, you won't see this replacement message. The Muse Hub Helper is installed. I can now open Muse Hub Helper from the app launcher. It is asking me if I am sure to open it. As I had to install this from outside the app store, it is also a one-time message and I will open it. The Muse Hub Helper is now open on the screen. I can manage different Muse Hub apps and plugins from this Muse Hub Helper. It is also asking for permission to install additional Muse Group applications. The Audacity app is already installed with this helper. From the apps, I can see which apps are available and which apps have been installed. You can open Audacity from here. Audacity is also installed as a separate app, so I could also open Audacity from the applications. You can now see the Audacity software is open and Audacity 3.6.1 has been installed. Unless you use other Muse Hub applications, you can install only Audacity to keep things simple. There is no harm in installing Muse Hub Helper, I am just showing different ways of doing things. From the Audacity Team website, you can download only Audacity. I clicked the download without the Muse Hub link, and the download pop appeared. Notice the file name this time, it is the Audacity file only. The installation process is the same as I showed you a moment ago. I have to double-click the DMG file and have to drag the Audacity icon to Applications. I will fast-forward the process and open Audacity. If I search for Audacity, two Audacity appear. You will have only one. I have two because I also kept an older version of Audacity installed. I had to keep an older version because I teach other people how to use Audacity and some of my students still using the older Audacity. You can see the Audacity 3.6.1 installed on the screen. I would like to show you another thing from the Audacity website. I downloaded the Audacity setup file from the home page. There is also a download link in the menu and you should know about it. Sometimes people need to install an older version of Audacity. In such cases, old versions of Audacity can be downloaded from this link. You can see here older versions of Audacity. Follow this link and you will see older versions of Audacity setup files. In theory, you should always use the updated version. But practically, Audacity introduces some breaking changes in newer versions. If you have an ongoing project, you may need to go back to the version you were working with. In such cases, older Audacity may be needed. I will end this tutorial with a check of whether your microphone is detected in Audacity. You can check it from the audio setup button. The recording device has the list of all connected microphones on your computer. This list has both the physical and virtual microphone names. 
The virtual microphone comes from different software and you should not be concerned about that at the moment. If you see the list has more microphone names than connected to your computer, those are virtual microphones. You should mainly look for the physical microphone shown in the list. If your desired microphone appears on the list, then it's okay. But if it is connected to your computer, but not in the list, you can do a couple of things. You can click on the rescan audio devices. If you rescan, Audacity will look for the microphones connected to the computer and update the list. If you see an error message while selecting a microphone, a rescan can make the error go away. You may not see such error messages always, but when you see that, a rescan can solve the issue. Another solution is to quit Audacity and open it again. Restarting Audacity will help it to recognize all the connected devices. So if you don't see the microphone name on the list, rescan or restart Audacity. With Audacity 3.6.1 installed, and your microphone showing on it, you are ready to embark on your journey.